the Anunnaki all over the media. Even back in the 80s. This is Flash Gordon, the best movie of all time. You are going to see Ming the Merciless. Now, I'm going to show you connections with Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan, the Antichrist archetype. Also, the Ajiji, the bird people, planet killers, the pyramid complex at a solar scale, the ancients, the genetic engineers, ancient astronauts, all right here in front of you. Even the eight-pointed star where the Anunnaki show as their origins. Look. Now, I was just talking about this the other day, yesterday, and before, and you're going to see the eight-pointed star right there. Now, Flash Gordon, give credit where credit is due, directed by Mike Hodges. This came out in 1980. And this, I used to watch this movie so much as a kid growing up. I mean, I've probably seen this over a thousand times. And it's funny now because I have a really tough time watching the movie more than once. But back in the day, you know, if it was a movie that I liked, I could. What I really find fascinating about this is you're going to see here, let's go back to this image. You see the as above, so below. That's the Thelema symbol and it's also used in Freemasonry and other mystery schools. You're gonna see the bird people, which here's the bird people and the Sumerian this is a Sumerian artifact right here that shows this antenna slash DNA looking thing in the center. You get the bird people which are talked about in the Epic of Gilgamesh as part of the part of their DNA is embedded in our DNA. And then one thing that I also noticed, I mean, just look at look at the eight-pointed star here. You see the eight-pointed star? Well, this is on everybody, this eight-pointed star. And then, well, here's Anton LaVey. Look at how much Anton LaVey looks like Ming, the merciless. Anton LaVey says, one of the keys to success is an unflinching belief that there are no rules. Here's another connection. Anton LaVey. This is in his older years. Ah, who's that? Is that Anton LaVey? No, that's Spock. Oh, Spock looks a lot like Anton LaVey there, doesn't he? Very similar. And look at this. This is Ming from the 60s. Ming the Merciless from the 60s. He looks an awful lot like Ming from the 80s. She looks an awful lot like Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. Founder of the Church of Satan. Look at how much they look alike here. There's Anton. There's Ming the Merciless from the 80, 1980 film. Here's Ming the Merciless from like the 60s, maybe even the 40s. Spock, LeVay. Well, they've all got this eight-pointed star. You see this? This is the star that's seen throughout Sumerian tablets portraying the engineers, the Anunnaki. Uh, let's, let's go right here. Here's the eight-pointed star. Here's the eight-pointed star. This is a Sumerian artifact. It's identical. Look at that. It's even got the circle in the middle, the eight points to it. Now, here's another thing that's interesting. The sun, our sun, our star, this solar system, it's depicted as six points. Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons make up your carbon atom. We're mainly carbon atoms. Many... People like myself that feel we've been genetically tampered and manipulated. Maybe they changed the carbon atom to where it has six protons, six neutrons, six electrons now. Six, six, six. Meaning, as when you read in Revelation, the number of man is six threefold. Six, six, six. Well, maybe at one point we had eight protons, eight electrons, eight neutrons. And now it's been manipulated to six. This is, this is just speculation, but where does the numerology fit in? And what did they do to our sun? And what was Saturn originally? Clearly, though, let's take away all that I just said, and let's look at the eight-pointed star here, the Anunnaki eight-pointed star, and the eight-pointed star in Flash Gordon. 
It's right there from 1980. Now, I want to talk about this one also, because this ancient Sumerian artifact could be over 6,000 years old, easily. Look at the giant right there, and then the three little people. Are those midgets? And, you know, just some really big basketball player, dude? Or is this the portrayal of the Giants? And once again, look, there's that eight-pointed star. Bingo. Eight-pointed star right there. You can even see it up here to the right. You got the moon, and then you have two eight-pointed stars. Looks like one's a little bit different than the other, though. Up here, looks like he's got a cone head a little bit, doesn't it? Not as much as Akhenaten. This looks like, and you see up here, this guy's got the, he's doing the balancing act. He's balancing the eight-pointed star. As above, so below. Four up, four down. Left, right, yin-yang, balance. Balance. That's what I see, is balance. Even the inner circles. The balancing of time right there. The balancing of the eight-pointed star. Of life and death itself. And the creator, the engineer, not the creator of all, but the engineer right there that beard look at these guys kind of praying to him going wow look at this guy can we can we just have a they just want to have an opportunity just to touch the pedestal that holds the eight-pointed star which above it are the puppet masters you know the the string puller look at this here's another depiction of the eight-pointed star now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do the seven planets. Seven planets and an eight-pointed star. Hmm. That was pretty easy to pick up. Now, let me tell you what I see here. I could be wrong. But this is what I feel is the sacrifice of one of the Anunnaki council members into the formation of human. Because one of them was sacrificed for the creation of the modern human. Here's another one. Eight-pointed star. So there's the connections. Very fascinating, in my opinion. You know, not only do we see many big players in films and TV shows that we don't realize at the time. And that's another thing that I want to talk about is, what do you think about this? I want to get your opinion. My favorite film growing up, Flash Gordon. Star Wars, also one of my favorite films. But Flash Gordon, I watched that a lot more than Star Wars growing up. And... Then I go back and look at these Anunnaki connections. And I've talked to Jordan Maxwell about stuff off the air. Jordan Maxwell funded Zacharias Sitchin on much of his endeavors with the Sumerian translations. And he shared things with me that I can't share with you. And what I can tell you is it was fascinating and it correlates with much of the research that I have done and also personal experiences that not only I have had, but friends and family. And then to add to that, the logo that I decided to pick for Leak Project for various reasons, he showed me some stuff, Anunnaki art, you know, Sumerian art of the Anunnaki and what they used and some of the, the technologies that they had, which look very similar to parts of the, the logo that I used. The connections that I've got with Giger, as far as just the fascination I have with his artwork and growing up as a kid watching Aliens, a whole bunch, that's another film I watched so many times. And the, the re, you know, I, re, I recently picked up a tarot deck of his for research because it's got 23 different paintings that are put on a card. And I've always been fascinated with his work. But then the other day, you know, that experience that I told you about when I was goofing around with the Ouija board and the Ouija board didn't move, but I, I said I was going to call up Giger. And then what came to mind was Prometheus. And then I told you about the synchronicities with Prometheus and how they portray the Anunnaki. And then watching Alien last night, Covenant 
the connections and synchronicities in that film. If you go back and listen to the podcast I've been doing the past couple weeks, they sync up very eerie, just crazy syncs with Alien Covenant and some of the subliminal messaging in that film that you can pick up on. So I wonder sometimes when so many things present themselves in front of you, obviously your mind will look for things that you're researching because that's just how it works. If you buy a certain car, you're going to find more cars that are just like it, even if you didn't see them before. Or if you buy a spe- you know, of a specific color, or uh, if you get a particular pair of shoes, your mind will look for those. I get it. Yet when does it get to a point to where it's more than just coincidence? And is there such thing as just coincidence? If everything's connected to the quantum level, then you should be able to find the symbolism the symbols, synchronicities, and archetypes in everything that presents itself in front of you, all the way down to the way you wake up in the morning, if you get to that level, because it's all frequencies. So just understand the frequency level, understand the quantum code of life, and it's easy to understand when you get to that level. It just th- There is no sense of wondering. You just know. It just is. So I think this is really cool, the connections here on the Flash Gordon and the Anunnaki symbolism in Flash Gordon. It's also interesting, the archetype of Ming, the Merciless, being so similar to Anton LaVey, Church of Satan. What's your take on that? What is the devil? Is the devil a creation of our own minds? Is the devil like he is described in the Holy Bible that most people have access to? What is the devil? What is Satan? And, you know, I'm going to share one more thing with you here. This is the, I'm going to get into this. This is the Sumerian star map. This right here is the churchofsatan.com, the 11 satanic rules of the earth. So I want to get your take on this. This is from Anton LaVey. Do not give opinions and advice unless you are asked. Do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. When in another's lair, show him respect or else do not go there. If a guest is in your lair, annoys you, treat him cruelly and without mercy. Do not make sexual advances unless you are given the mating signal. Do not take that which does not belong to you unless it is a burden to the other person and he cries out to be relieved. Acknowledge the power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after having called upon it with success, you will lose all you have obtained. Do not complain about anything to which you need. Not subject yourself. Do not harm little children. Do not kill non-human animals unless you are attacked or for your food. When walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not, destroy him. And that's from the Church of Satan. Dot com. So, what's your take on that? And isn't it interesting how he uses 11? You know, instead of the Ten Commandments, it's the 11 principles. Then I think there's nine satanic sins, according to the Church of Satan, which most people that are a part of the Church of Satan are, from the research I've done, more humanists than what you would think of as a Satanist. They're more into themselves than they are in uh, a deity such as Satan, that is more along the lines of Luciferian, such as a deity that you would worship as a higher power of extreme strength. And many people do sign contracts with Satan or the devil or maybe Lucifer. And the question is, what is Lucifer? Who is Lucifer? And how close are the ancient scriptures that talk about Lucifer, and which ones are the most accurate? A lot, a lot of questions. Mr. LeVay, Ming the Merciless. LeVay, Ming. 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 
Spock. I miss Spock. Live long and prosper. They look a lot alike, though, don't they? It's interesting that he's got the red background instead of the blue, though. That's the polar opposite. Flash Gordon, best movie of all time. I'm definitely going to go back and watch this, especially seeing the Thelema symbolism, the eight-pointed star, the Anunnaki, the Ajiji. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out, too, you've got the cylinder-shaped UFO, and there was the, the plant people, the swamp people. you got the storm type troopers, the AI interface. But check this out. See this, this gentleman back here that's got this nice crown on that looks kind of a little bit tribal, you know, just the, with, and um, he's the first one to, he gets killed by Ming. He gets sacrificed by Ming at the beginning of the, the movie because all these people that are under the counsel of Ming have to give him something. You know, they have to give him crops or materials or something like that, and they're offering gifts to him as homage. And the his people, this this person right here, the you know, he, he's black, and he's got the gold clothing on. You can see he's right behind the scientist and this guy with the gold helmet or the gold face that's got the black suit on. Well, he's the first one that gets taken out in the in the movie. And you can definitely see some Aryan synchronicities in here. You know, I mean, Flash has got the blonde hair. Originally, they wanted to have blue eyes, but the the contacts didn't work well enough that with the character. So I wonder how much German influence was portrayed in this. And, and even the outfits that these red Stormtrooper dudes have, there, there's a lot of... Aryan symbolism in it too I think which you don't see that growing up and even when you're older you don't really notice it until you kind of break break it down and you have to know what to look for but now that I go back and look at that I, I do notice certain things that have impacts on the subconscious so I mean even look at the belt buckle of this guy here to the left of Flash Gordon he's got the same eight-pointed star and then Ishtar I wonder Ladies and gentlemen, Ishtar, this gal right here, in between the guy in green and the Ajiji, the bird guy here. He's a badass, by the way, this guy here. He was trying to play the character of being funny and serious at the same time. It just didn't really work for some people, but I thought it was great. But I wonder if this gal here, she's the daughter of Ming. This is Ishtar. The, her characteristics are very similar to Ishtar, in my opinion. So definitely check it out. Flash Gordon. Pick up your copy today. You can probably get it on Amazon. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine timelord. If you want to become an exclusive premium member, you'll get access to content only available for premium members. Ten bucks a month, fifty bucks a year. Your contributions greatly help Leak Project. Make sure to support our sponsors. Get the T.com for the best in supplements. Very good products. Also, check out the quick bivy link in the video description box. These things are awesome, and they could help save your life in an emergency situation if you need to stay warm. So check out the links. Thank you for being here. Question everything, and be the change you want to see.